Hey, yo, uh, Coach Simmons here. I'm pulling the Kobe right now. Calling right from the car. I'm on vacation. I ain't really got time to get down to the computer. So, y'all will see my face today. Um, reason why I wanted to reach out, man, is a lot of bullshit going on right now in, in sports in general. Um, I'm up here in New Hampshire doing a little reconnaissance for my my employer, if you want to call it that, over here at uh, University of New Hampshire. And also, I'm looking at the contracts, man. I know I, I beat this into the, to the ground a lot, but next year is the year everybody contract comes up. If you're not negotiating now, you're not looking at it now to find out what your conference is worth, you're full of crap. I like what the Southland is doing. Bringing in other schools like Stephen F. Austin, UTRGV, expanding their profile. Also negotiating not only with ESPN, negotiating with TNT, negotiating with the NFL Network, and a certain company I work for. That's what I'm going to say. They are reaching out to see what they're worth. They're not just taking the exposure hits. They're getting, I don't know, national television games. That their games for the conference championship will be played on linear television. Not ESPNU, not ESPN or ESPN2, but on CBS or ABC. That's what they're negotiating. That's what they want. <coughs> now, when it comes to the SWAC, Be very careful what I say. Um, they're not bringing themselves into the twenty hell, the twenty first century. Right now, with so many things going on with apps and people watching games on their phones, on their tablets, on the hell, their watches, hell, you got to bring yourself into that new millennium. At the same time understand exposure is not money when someone gives you exposure you're supposed to use that exposure to get money but the swag seems to believe that just getting that exposure is money it's not it's not that's why the CAA signed a 10 million dollar contract with flow sports yeah 800,000 per school may sound like a little bit of money it's more than you're getting for your whole conference. Tell me why, when the SWAC dropped their tax returns, you have schools making more money than, than the conference did. Schools on the FCS level make more money than the SWAC conference did. As a whole. You don't know what you're worth, you're not negotiating correctly, and you just resigned the guy who does everything incorrectly. Let that make sense. Now, I'm never usually on camera because I don't like the way I look on camera, so, hey, sorry. But I had to get this out on vacation. I don't have my computer with me, so I want to make sure that y'all understood. I'm still, in, I'm still in contact. I'm still looking. And I'm seeing everything wrong that Charles McClellan is doing. You may have signed up to be on the NCAA uh, selection committee. Good. What good did that do Grambling last year? How many times do HBCUs in basketball have to go play in the play-in tournament? What good did that do Jackson State basketball team this year for women? What good has that done any HBCU team? HBCUs can go 30 and 1. If they lose their conference championship game, they're not getting selected. If they do win the title game, and they go 30 and 1. Guess what? You're playing in the play-in. Because no one in HBCU realm knows what the hell they're worth. You cannot continue to tell me you signed a contract with ESPN for exposure. 700 k for the whole conference. If you won't believe what all script showed, 700 k for the conference. I think it's a little bit more of like 1K for the conference, or 100. It's $1 million for the conference, basically. But either or. One meal, you get all the games on 
exposure. Come on, bro. You have nobody telling your history. I'd like to say, my main man, Ashley Robinson, Jackson State, loves to say, building on tradition, blaze new trails. But if you're not promoting your tradition, nobody knows. I swear to God, I've done more videos promoting damn tradition of the SWAC and HBCUs than the HBCUs have. Mega Evers, Alcorn State, fullback. Rosa Parks, Alabama State High School. <coughs> Morehouse, of course, MLK, you know all that stuff. Black Panthers, Grambling State University. Why is this something we are not promoting? The Big Ten had the Big Ten Network with the ESPN. Why don't the SWAC have the SWAC Network with ESPN? HBCU Go, HBCU Plus, either one, great option. Take your pick. I don't give a damn which one it is. But you got to remember, HBCUs are not just about sports. I keep telling people this for years. Black culture is HBCU culture. Every great movement, every design, every reinvention of black society has come from HBCU. You may start saying, well, you know, hip hop didn't come from HBCUs. It was redefined by HBCUs. The marching band. We love to talk about the marching bands. When the soldiers came back, the soldiers were not allowed to go have guns. They were allowed to play the bands, play the drums. Apparently they don't have connect, Wi-Fi connection in there, so I could call. If you're not going to explain what tradition you're building on, nobody in the current generation would know what trails to blaze. There's so much involved in HBCUs. The people are not knowing because, A, one, we're not saying it. Two, we're falling for the exposure while the facilities are falling behind. It's the oldest okie doke in the world. Won't give you the money you need to fix your facilities, upgrade your classrooms and everything else, and then we try to get a grant or try to get somewhere to expand yourself, we'll say, hey, facilities are crap. Facilities are no longer good. Your stuff you have for your classrooms are outdated. But you know what? I'm not going to bring it up again. It just seems like I'm talking to a brick wall. If we don't want to expand ourselves, we don't want to promote ourselves, you don't want to think we're better than what they are showing on TV. Then why would someone keep bringing it up? If you don't care, I don't care. The Charles McClellan is the best we can do in the swag. How do they say? Get what you get. Don't throw a fit. Well, it's about time somebody tell this man shit or get off the pot and mean what the hell they say. It's Coach Simmons. Catch y'all later.